everyone, it's Diana Minerva. I hope you're all having a wonderful week. And today I'm going to be making a dress with you. It's a new look dress, pattern number 6301. And we're going to be making version A here on the cover. So it's a flared version, but you do have the option to make straight and different sleeve variations also. What we're going to be using today is this gorgeous, vibrant Minerva exclusive crushed velvet. Now isn't this an eye-catching design? It really catches the light. And this is called Crystal Chrysanthemums. It's going to make a beautiful dress, perfect for special occasions, Christmas, New Year, party wear, anything like that. So remember to wash and prepare that fabric before we begin. All the products will be tagged below if you wish to sew along with me today. Now when you've washed your fabric, we're going to take a tape measure, locate your sizing on the back and check yourself or whoever you're measuring for and then we're going to go and cut the pattern pieces. So let's go and do that together now. So here we have our pattern pieces for our dress. This is your skirt back for versions A and B. We're going to cut one on the fold and the fold is here. Make a note of your notches. And here we have the skirt front again we're going to cut one on the fold the fold is here note your markings here we have your right bodice front make sure that you've got it placed on the direction of grain going this way and we're going to cut one piece make a note of your notches and your circles and also these pleat markings here then we have your left bodice front again make sure that the grain line is going the correct way Note your notches, your circles, and again, pleats, and the centre front here. Here we have your bodice back. You're going to cut two pieces. This is the direction of grain. Note your markings. And here we have the sleeve. You're going to cut two pieces. The grain line goes this way. Mark, note your markings. Here we have our tie end. You're going to cut two pieces. This is your straight grain. This is your neck band. Again, you're going to cut two pieces. Note your notches. And here we have the waist elastic guide. You'll need this when you come to cut your elastic. Now we're ready to begin making our dress. So first of all, you want to wind half of your thread onto your machine spool and check your machine needle. Now, as this is a stretch fabric, we're going to be using a stretch needle or a ballpoint needle today. So I will tag some of these in with the products. So change your needle and we're also going to use a stretch stitch. So consult your manual and either use the stretch stitch on your machine or you can use a zigzag stitch and play around with the size and width of the zigzag. So have a little experiment before you begin because you need to ma maintain the stretch in the fabric. We don't want any broken stitches. When you've done that, we're going to take our front pieces and we're going to create the pleats. That's our first job. So let's do that first of all. So on your right bodice front, you're going to bring these broken lines together on the inside. And you're going to stitch those in place. Now make the pleats on the left front in the same way, bringing the broken lines together. Now you're going to stitch your centre back seam of your back bodice pieces, so place them right sides facing together like this. I'm going to stitch this central seam with a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance. Now we're going to pin our front to our back at the shoulder seams like this and we're also going to add in some clear elastic tape. So this goes across your seam to stop it from stretching out. Now I've pinned it on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch it from the top so the elastic will be 
towards the plate as I'm stitching it. Now I do it this way because I just find it stops it from stretching out of place and your your foot from sort of pushing it along as you stitch. So flip it over to do it and I would suggest sewing that with it facing downwards towards the plate. Now you're going to place your two neckband pieces together with right sides facing and we're going to stitch the central seam here matching the notches. Then we're going to fold this in half lengthways with the wrong sides facing. Pin it all the way along and press. So make sure that your edges are even. So you can base those edges together at this point if you wish. And then we're going to pin this to the neckline matching the circles at the shoulders, making sure it's even down the front. Now you're going to pin your neckband around your neckline. Now you need to pull on it a little as you do this. So you stretch it and pin it to it the whole way around, matching your circles here at the shoulder and your centre back point. And now we're going to stitch that in place with a one centimetre seam. Now on the outside, you're going to stitch close to the binding that you've just pressed down. So you want to press it towards your bodice like this. I've also edge finished so I've overlocked mine. So you want to trim it and edge finish it first of all to make it neat. Then on the outside we're just stitching close to the binding here. You can do this with a zigzag stitch or a straight stitch but make sure that you maintain that stretch. Now you're going to lap your right front over your left matching your centre point and your notches and then we're going to baste along this bottom. So we're going to baste these raw edges together to keep them from moving around when we attach our skirt panels. Fold your tie ends in half lengthways and stitch with a one centimetre seam, leaving open the straight edge here. Place your tie ends at the sides of your back panel at the circular marks here and we're going to baste it down this edge. Pin your front bodice to your back bodice at the side seams here. Make sure that your tie ends are to the right side of the fabric so they're facing inwards like this. Now stitch this with a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance. Now at this point you're going to pin your back skirt to your front skirt at the side seams matching the notches and stitch this seam in place. Now you're going to pin your skirt to your bodice at the waistline. Now you want to make sure you match the centre points so fold your front skirt in half and make a little notch and do the same with the back skirt. You're also going to Line up the side seams here, pin it in place all the way around and stitch in place with a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance. Now six millimetres from the raw edge you're going to sew another line of stitching and this is going to form your casing for your elastic. Now use your elastic guide to cut a piece of elastic the right length and you're going to thread it through your casing using either a bodkin or a safety pin. Now we're going to fold your sleeve in half like this and we're going to stitch the underarm seam matching your notches with a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance. Next hem the bottom of your sleeves. I'm using a zigzag stitch to do this, doing it from the inside and this way you can catch in the raw edge as you go. Now sew a line of ease stitching around the top of your sleeve. Now we're 
going to attach our sleeve. So here we have our dress the wrong way around and we have our sleeve the right way around. You're going to place your sleeve inside the armhole and you will notice that you have two notches here for the back and on your sleeve you have two notches again. So you're going to line those up and pin them in place. And then line up your underarm seam. You can stagger it so that one is going one way and one's going the other so it's not too bulky if you're finding it bulky under your machine. You have one notch to the front. Pin those together. You have notches here and here. The central one here goes to your shoulder point and ease it in place the rest of the way around. Now stitch this in place with a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance. Now hem the bottom of your dress. Again, I'm using a narrow zigzag stitch. So here is the fitted dress. The belt is quite long, so you can pass across the back and round the front here, so it's crossed over at the back. And this particular dress is made up to a size 18. It's pleats across the front. Well, I hope you've enjoyed sewing along with me today. I think this is a fabulous dress. It will be great for a party. You can make it in any stretch knit, spandex, stretch velvet, suitable for all knit fabrics. And there's lots of different ways that you can change up this pattern. So different variations on the front, you could make it straighter or you could make it sleeveless. Please let us know how you've got on and if you've made this pattern before, remember to include any photographs. We always love to see what you've been making. Remember to like and follow Minerva to get more video content like this every week. And of course, take a look at Minerva Craft Club to get 10% of all your orders for a whole year. Well, that's all from me for today, but I hope to be back soon with another sew along. If you like what I'm wearing today, this is a Tilly and the Buttons make from one of her books and it's a journey dress and I'll link this and the fabric in with products below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.